Hey guys, it's Gamer Wingy here, and welcome back to PvZ Heroes Daily. So today is a rather special episode, actually. That's obnoxiously loud. <laughs> um, actually, so what we're actually going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the normal things. We're going to be doing the puzzle party, but this is a very special video because not only have I just hit the milestones for 50 subscribers but I've also hit the milestone for 50 videos on this series now this is the first time this has actually ever happened on a series so and I, I, I'm just overwhelmed by it I mean I actually have 52 today but I'm overwhelmed by the support I've been getting over the last uh, few days a few weeks just want to give a thank you to Rainbow Killer. He's the one that actually pointed out those milestones to me. I hadn't actually noticed myself, which is slightly odd, but... So today I'm doing a mega episode. So we're going to do the puzzle party, and then we are going to jump in, and we are going to do lots of different battles. So let's get this one done, and I hope you all enjoy this mega episode. It's just a special thank you for all of you for subscribing, for liking the videos, for just supporting me. How can you possibly deal that much damage with only one open lane? Um, very good question. Presumably we're going to find an answer. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, so... Oh. Uh... Now, from what I can see here... Oh, I already see it. Haha. <laughs> I already see it, I think. Do you know what I really hope I do as well? Am I supposed to do this? And have all of those getting boosted as far as possible to boost up that on life of the party? Because he gets hit by two of those, which means both of those lanes are now covered. So... He's at four. Yeah, and another one. He's at five. Need to get him to seven. He had more. There we go. Six. He's a six, six now. And hey, he's a seven, seven. Amazing. And there we go. That might have been the easiest daily challenge I've ever done. <laughs> That might be the easiest one I've ever actually had to do. <laughs> that was really, really easy. This room required placing three zombies, and that was it. Two of which were the same. Right, so. On to the main event. Ranked battles. And we're going to try to play a variety of decks today, and we're going to try and gauge how well we can do with these. First of all, not do I have anyone online, I don't have any quests for specific heroes. I have five, pla have plants, five plants and deal 20 damage to heroes as Wall Knight. Alrighty, we've got our first contester. It's Wall Knight. I will use my Strike Through Defenders deck, I think. This deck has not been edited or updated for a very long time and in my opinion does not really need to be updated this is this deck is actually based off of a concept that, that I came up with years ago actually sort of in the start of the release of the uh, release of the game actually I didn't start off playing this game uh, when it came, first came out but I, I always had an interest in it and I used to make quite a lot of deck concepts on an old uh, hero site and I don't think I should be able to refresh that again <laughs> oh I can't it's just it shows up alrighty so the first round's gonna be a throwaway I'm a little concerned on bling against infin infinity actually that might be a bit problematic don't be something bad that's something bad three damage at the very least my block meter is pretty much ready to chart to fire well, we're going to play the defences. Legendary card. Oh, that's nasty. I'm going to play defences and put this here. Just for this turn. Well, I mean, it'll stay for the next turn, but... 
for this turn. And strike through is even better. Yay! Uh, no, we'll not play that yet. <laughs> I just realised that his, his that this guy I'm playing against his get his tag is called is Karma. By the way, <laughs> yes, I'm going to get instant Karma if I try to uh, if if I try to do anything. So now I think the idea there is that he's going to get instant Karma. Yeah, this needs to be done. <laughs> this really needs to be done. Because I've already foreseen what's going to happen. I'm going to do this, but I've foreseen what is going to happen here. I feel as though the likelihood was that he was going to move it. All zombies get deadly! Oh no. Oh no. Oh wow. He's just destroyed everything. Uh, we might have a problem. <laughs> Oh god! Jeez, I'm gonna have to destroy that. That means I'm now going to take a total of nine damage without it being blocked. Some of it will get blocked, but he's really playing this. See, the problem is here. I've got a really, really bad dex setup. It just has—it's not working for me because uh, I'm against a, probably the worst hero I could possibly be fighting, actually. I can still only play one card. <laughs> this is just sad. Give me something I can play. Thank you. I'm actually just going to play that as well. I have the feeling that that imp's going to get moved, that mini ninja. Oh, no, he's not. There may yet be hope. Not a lot of it because I've got two health. <laughs> but there is still some hope. I'm going to have to do my gazer, aren't I? And heal. Now, hopefully we can start to get powerhouses out, because the later the game goes on, the stronger I'll do. And have I just ruined it? Nah, I'm going to block it. That's got deadly. Lovely. Ha <laughs> ha! We'll throw that one out. Yep. That ain't happening. I'm very sorry to interrupt for that, but uh, I'm not letting it happen. Now, how do we tackle this? <laughs> how indeed do we tackle this? It really is going to take something. What about a spamming procedure? What about just a powerhouse procedure? I think, no, I think spamming them out is a lot more efficient at this stage of the game. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, just to give myself that extra little boost of health. If I can get the Astro... I've got Astro Cardo, I think. Or is it Astro... No, it's Astro Vera, I think. It's, it's in the deck somewhere. That can increase my maximum health by 10. And heal me 10. Have I backed him into a corner here? Or is he waiting to get out a really powerful card? Because that is a possibility. When a plant here does damage and survives, heal your hero that much. Now that is wonderful. In fact, that truly does seem like a god-given right. Uh, should we play it here? And then health boost him, because I don't think everything's going to get deadly. Honestly, uh, it might. <laughs> Ooh, transforms into a random plant that costs one more. What seven cost plants are there? Aha! Yes, we're back! We're back, guys. We are back in the fight. 12 health. That'll do. Healing 6 every time he does damage and survives it. Right, this this is going alright now. Um, Yeah, he played something really bad. <laughs> this is bad. For the rest of the game, all zombies are now better. Is, is the essential part of that? Risk it. Do it. Do it. Give me something good. I'm, I'm doing it. Oh, I got Soul Patch, and um, that might just do it for me. Oh. Do you know that might just work? <laughs> I can resist all of the damage with Soul Patch. Oh, that's the seven cost. That's the seven cost card. Where is it? Soul Patch. Legendary. Aha. Uh -huh. 
he does realise that one damage isn't actually going to hit to me, doesn't he? And yeah, that's going to kill him. <laughs> well, he lasted a very long time, honestly, but uh, we're going to trouble now. We're in quite a lot of trouble, actually. There's, um, there's not a lot. We're going we're gonna to struggle. We're going to struggle in that... Well, we're going to have to block that and do that. We're going to start to struggle because of the fact that there's not an awful lot we're in a position to do. However, I am going to move this to make way for that fume shroom. Ah, no, actually, now that I've done that, I didn't even realise it, but that might just do it for me. I really hope so. <laughs> Don't let me lose my first battle of the day. And against, I mean, to be honest, it's against Infinity, so if I can win this, I'm really, really pleased and proud at the same time of this. And he's not going to be able to destroy me. Oh no, what's he doing? Oh no, what's he doing? Um, That's not good. That's really not good. What else does he have for this? That's that's alright, that's, that is right, that's fair enough. Oh god, this is going to be a very close bit. Ha <laughs> ha, cute battle music. One more hit to win. One more hit, boys. Force field. Now, if I could have had that earlier, that would have been really nice. I'm going to play both of my strike throughs. Oh, no. I read something uh, once that if both, of the, uh, if both of the heroes are defeated at the same time, zombies win. That's scary. Don't conjure a good... Don't conjure a strike-through card. As long as it's not a strike-through card, I am happy. I'm happy. <laughs> he realised he wasn't going to win. He knows I've got a laser beam. Ah, <laughs> uh, well done. But that is karma, by the way. For trying to get me the first few turns. It's entirely possible I will lose my next game, but... Uh, done that. Let's switch over and play a zombie deck then, I suppose. I want to be alternating these, so what about we go for the Rust? So we'll go for our own Infinity deck. Infinity attacks. We'll do, we'll do this one. Been a while since I played Infinity. I tend to do the Smash and Immortisha. If you if you watch my regular daily videos, that actually I'm noticing are not currently daily, given the circumstances, but if you watch those, you notice that a lot of my zombie decks are those two. And then it tends to be Green Shadow and Solar Flare for the plants. <laughs> I'm trying to branch out a bit more for you, for you guys, because I do have others. And that is a decidedly good start. Especially getting Quick Draw Command first. That's a very good start. I'm not going to play him straight away, though. <laughs> he does, whenever the plant hero draws a card, do one damage to them. I don't want to play it immediately, just in case it gets destroyed. Which it didn't, so we're fine with that. All right, now I'll do this, because that is going to work very well. Plant player conjures an event card. I get to conjure three, but... Oh, he did it. Do you know what? I wasn't sure if that was going to happen, but it did. Oh, well. I'll probably play this one. Uh, no, I'm probably going to play this. Or this. That'll do. <laughs> Let's see if he's got the guts to block... To take... Or block... Oh, yes. Because as it happens, I'm actually going to do more damage this turn. That's three, and then it goes, oh, it goes to him as well. Oh, yeah, it's do three damage to a random plant. I thought it was the, I thought it included the plant hero. Apparently not. I'm going to do my utmost to ensure... That's not a bad card for later. I'm going to do my utmost to ensure that that Abracadabra gets another hit. Abracadabra! And to do that, we'll just do this. <laughs> we'll just do that. I'm actually going to lose it, so there's nothing I could do, but... At the very least, I took that one out as well. And my, uh... My Quasar Wizard now also has Deadly. Let's play the Fire Rooster. Intentions of doing some kind of trick. You know what, actually? If I can trick buff the... If I can buff the uh, Fire Rooster with a trick, that'd be very nice. 
Oh, yes. Zombie becomes deadly, which means you're now going to struggle to take it out. Draw a card for each zombie. That's not too bad. Uh, definitely not too bad on this kind of a deck. So, let's do this. Let's see what he wants to do for a block, then. Potentially, this turn, I will draw card event cards, actually. But I know I am going to risk... Uh, I'm running the risk of not being able to super block soon. Oh, he's destroyed it. Okay, he's going to take a... He's going to, he's going to take a lot of damage, because I'm going to make sure he takes a lot of damage. I don't think it matters what he has. Scorched Earth is my guess. Could also be... I think Chompsilla gets Holo Flora. Uh, it can't be time to shine. So I think it's Scorched Earth. Oh, he's not He's not conceded, is he? Please don't tell me he's actually conceded. This isn't going badly for him. He's still got a decent chance to stop. He disconnected. Oh. Well, that's our second win of the day. We are only 16 minutes in. This is now the length of a normal video. But this is no normal video. This is a mega episode. Rank 4 in the Wood League. When 5 multiplayer games is completed, we get 100 gems for that. Now then, we'll switch back to plants. And I think for this one, we'll play... The Pumping Powerhouse deck for Grass Knuckles. I'm trying out decks that I don't usually use. And we're against mas the Master Lumo or something? <laughs> I couldn't actually see that properly. Master Luma, zero one. Ooh, we're here. I really like this map. This is not too bad a setup for the start of the game. I'm going to start off with a Peapod and anticipate that that's going to get destroyed or blocked by the Octopet. Oh no, that's just going to go straight up there. Okay. That seems to happen a lot. Plant Hero, or Zombie Hero, Neptune always seems to start with Octopet. Which isn't too bad, but I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> okay, let's go this. Oh, okay, that's that's an interesting block. Uh, I'm going to do this. I have got time to shine, which is actually a really good uh, power, power, superpower. Grass Knuckles has, has, in my opinion, potentially the best superpowers in the game. His premium is... is godly and things like time to shine is just really nice and if a trick gets played then ho oh, ho you're in for a bad time mate yep you're in for a bad time especially with that one in play go on play your trick play your trick I dare you he's a plant conjurer moustache and strength of mine does he actually realise that that gets stronger I don't think he realised or maybe he did, but he just wanted to freeze it anyway. I mean, it still doesn't matter. He's not destroying it next turn with the current strength he's got. In fact, I might even destroy it. <laughs> could also destroy his powerful zombie as well. I could also do the bonus attack tricks. Plus one, plus one, and then a bonus attack. And I've also got a bonus attack. Steel Magnolia is not really the plan for the situation at the minute. The Galactic Gardens one possibly is photosynthesis. Photosynthesizer. I'm going to buff that. Ooh, Galactic Cactus. And we'll do that. And we will not play that Galactic Cactus, because actually I don't want to. Oh, he's going for his trick, is he, then? So what's he going to do for me? Because he is sort of pinned down by the uh, Black Eyed Pea. I think, that is a re I think that's, a that's one of my favourite cards, that is. Black Eyed Pea is a really good card. Oh, no, he went for that instead. Oh, he blocked it. Of course he did. Bounce a random plant. It's not going to be the gross room, is it? No, it's the black-eyed pea. No! Ah, yes! Aha! Bang, 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 Done. Well, not quite done, but... As in, damaged heavily. I made myself very clear there. Well, I have two power lanes, essentially. By power lanes, I'm meaning lanes that have an awful lot of strength behind them. Because Sky Shooter gets to be a 
four. Come on now. Play your card, my friend. Is he figuring out how to tangle this? How to tackle this? I suppose that is a way. However, I'm going to play this as well, just to ensure that lanes are as full as possible. Yeah, there's no moving away from me. I presume he's just doing that for a block, actually. And that's it. So we are unlikely to win on this very turn, but we may in fact win on the next turn. That's two bullseye damage. Hopefully, we can win this turn, because we do have a bonus attack. I just need to, I just need to suppress everything and gets played. I actually think we might have this with the aid of this card. All right then, so if I, hmm. So should I actually destroy that? I actually wasn't decided yet, but I accidentally did that. Oh well, we'll stick with it. It's unlikely that Master Luma 01 can stop me. But there's still a chance yet. I do only have 5 health. A, a well-placed manoeuvre might, might win. That's a no. Oh, unless the uh, card that is superpower drawn is very good. Which it's not. Unlucky, my friend. And that actually stayed there. That Octopet was there the whole game as well. That's going really well. I really like my collection of decks. It's a really, really nice collection. I do also have another gift to you all lined up later. It's a little something I'm going to do during this video. Having built up a bit of a collection lately. So, um, let's switch over to the zombies again. And we will do... Uh, deadly Bouncing RNG? No, I don't know. What's in this? Is it RNG? I don't think so. <laughs> let's play this one because I feel like this could be an annoying deck. Oh, and we're rank 5 in Bronze League as well. We're now in Bronze League instead of Wood League. So we are already getting towards our target. It's going very well, if I do say so. Now let's just find ourselves a match against the chick. No, we're the, ch we're the chicken icon. Found a match against a green shadow. Alright. Uh, don't particularly like this to start. In fact, this actually could not be a worse start. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, this is not going to end well, is it? Can we just skip the first three turns? No, two turns. Skip this turn and the next turn, and don't do your damage in the middle lane, because that's nasty. <laughs> At least that's out of the way now. I know that the superpower is gone. I just know that as well I'm five health down. And still can't play a card. This is a bad start. This is actually really, really bad. I normally don't get this bad a start, and he's wasted that in the middle lane. I'm sorry, but what was the point of that? Now we can play. We can bounce. We can bounce. Plants away. Sproing. Though now I look at that, actually, this is a much better choice. Because then we get to survive. And you'll only play it back again if we block it anyway, if we stop him anyway. Uh, I don't really need the deadly right now, to be honest. I'm stockpiling cards and I'm sort of starting to play some of them now. Bounce all plants on the ground is a very nice one. Especially if we get overwhelmed. Uh, I don't really like the looks of that snowdrop, if I'm being completely honest. I'm actually going to do this as well. I'm actually going to do the deadly. Just because I don't want to get overwhelmed. Even if they are only weak zombie plants, he could probably manage to buff them. Don't want to take any chances. I am running on a lot of strength right now. Um, I guess we just block this one, I suppose. The real intention is to ban something, because I'm anticipating a freezing from with that snowdrop. Transformation station's not bad either. But I anticipate a freeze. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, my friends, I'm sorry, but that is not how this game works. I'm going to block the next hit. 
That's not how this game works. You don't get to do that. You don't, you're not in control. I'm gonna, I will assure you of that now. You are not in control. As shown by the fact that I'm, I'd rather bounce a plant than do anything else. <laughs> We're gonna take it again. Nope. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's play the transformation station now. Ready for the next turn. Because I think it's unlikely that he's gonna work this time. I have seven cards. I'll have nine, which means I'll have ten. Which means I'm actually up to my max cards. <laughs> That's amazing, that is. But don't you worry. We're going to play. We have a lot of tricks. We have a lot of bouncing. This deck is designed to irritate my opponents. Observe here as I do so. <laughs> I'm bouncing it. I love the look of that card as well. Everything's gone. Good luck. I'm going to carry on doing this for as long as is needed. I'm not playing anything. I'm playing tricks. I'm only playing the tricks. This deck is absolutely packed to the brim with tricks, as you can see. Oh, oh, that could be nasty. Wouldn't it be an awful shame if someone were to, you know, bounce it? Or better yet, if someone were to freeze it for this turn and then wait until next turn to make a move. That'd be even better, wouldn't it? I have nine cards, so I actually can't really afford to play anything this turn. I'm doing way worse for health, but you know what? I'm having a great time. I'm going to bounce him this turn. He's probably aware of that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yay! He's probably aware of the fact that I'm going to either bounce or destroy him. <laughs> it's going to happen. It really is. I'm going to destroy him. I'm going to destroy him. There's no, there's no bonus attack. Oh my god, he's absolutely buffed that to the heavens. Jeez. I must say, I'd be hard-pressed to stop that. But just for the annoyance factor, I'm going to bounce it instead of destroying it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bye. Have a nice trip. <laughs> that's the that's what's on the other. Is that the fourth time he's played that three beater? <laughs> he's got to be desperate now. He's got to be desperate. We're finally going on the offensive a bit. I'm just letting this moonwalker just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah, bang, that's gone. You've just disappeared. Um, I actually do need to play some cards. Let's take now as the opportunity to go on the offensive. There we go. With the opportunity of destroying a powerful plant as well. We've gone on the offensive. We've launched everything we have. Oh no, he's not going to buff it up enough, is he? He's not buffing it enough. That's not good. I needed him to strength buff it once more. That's not very good because we're going to take a lot of losses there. I'm going to destroy it actually, but we are going to destroy everything, but we're going to end up with way too little health here. That's now three, not four, sorry. It's four to 13. This is, this is really, really rough, but we have taken it. I've got a trick up my sleeve. A decidedly strong one. I should have played that on the heights instead. Now I look at that. Yep. <gasps> nope. <laughs> Go on. Do your worst. Do your worst because you know what, mate? I'm going to do exactly the same. Transform all zombies into zombies that cost seven or more. And my hero's health cannot go below one. <laughs> I'm going to destroy that anyway, but... That is a legendary Undying Pharaoh. That is a legendary Zombot Battlecruiser. That is an event card. And I think that's just an uncommon. We've done really well. That doesn't cost seven or more. Huh? Put all zombies into... Okay, that was weird. <laughs> oh, it might have been five... Oh, it was five or more, wasn't it? Not seven. Why did I read it as that? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to be prepared to bounce. Based on what he plays. Let's just say now that... Um, yeah, it's going to take him a bit of a miracle. 
<laughs> I've finished messing about with him. I've had my fun. And that achieves what exactly? Are you going to play a P behind it? A repeater, maybe? No, he's going to continue to block. He's going to play that one. That's one to stop. Uh, okay, what's he going to buff? Repeater. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just have a nice trip. We got ourselves some superpowers. Um, do you know what? Actually, let's get ourselves some health back. I feel like that is a very, that is something that we needed. We're back up to seven now. We're on a slightly more respectable number. Ah, and Biggin's probably going to get played. Oh, she's only just blocked the first time, actually, so... It's either Embiggen, Whirlwind, or Holoflora. Oh, no, not Holoflora. It's the, that chill one. <laughs> Instead of... So, yeah, you don't get Holoflora as Green Shadow. We have a full... We have full lane coverage. What a chance could you possibly stand? Oh, my God! There's not even any room for anything stronger to be made. And next turn, if that's still alive, that's going to be a Zombot... 9,000 or 1,000 or something. You'd love to, you would love to succeed with that, wouldn't you? You'd absolutely love it. I'm not going to allow it. Naturally. The zombie here getting teleport. Yeah, sure. And we'll do this. Freeze all the plants on the ground. And we'll conjure three, any three cards, which is even better. <laughs> Ooh, Rolling Stone. Amazing. And we'll destroy that. <laughs> he's conceded. Oh, God. He's realised I'm doing so many things. Wow. Okay, so we're 30 minutes in. And we've done two battles on either side. We have won all four of the battles today. So now, what I think is that it's time for me to do a little something. We are going to open some packs. As a little thank you to you all, we are going to open some packs. Uh, I'm, I know I can do ten of them at once and get a bonus, but I want to open a variety. So we're just going to sort of alternate through them. And we are going to spend all of our gems. Uh, this is just me saying thank you to everyone. Okay. That's how it goes or something, isn't it? Okay, five. Okay, so that wasn't a particularly good one. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it's bad in the sense we haven't really. There's not a lot of premium stuff left to do. We're doing that for the uh, characters. So next is the Galactic. And these are personally my favourite card set, actually, because I just really like all the ideas they have. And the design on the front of the pack is really good as well. Hmm, Cryobrain's not bad. And Hearty Choke's not bad either. Well, we've strengthened eight different strategy decks, so that's good. We actually, I think we all just, we'll be in a position before long to actually start properly playing some of these strategy decks that are pre-built. And I'll have to showcase those as the video, as some of the videos. Colossal is next. Colossal and Triassic are pretty similar, actually. Sort of based around the same idea of dinosaurs and that anyway. <laughs> but, do we get something good in this? Can we have one legendary from like, all of these packs? Oh my god! I got three of the same zombie in the same... Wow. I got three haunted ghosts in that pack. That was something. Triassic Triumph. I hope you guys enjoy this video, by the way. I really hope you enjoy this. This is my tribute to you. I'm trying to do a variety of different things. Uh, okay, four of them. And we get Mustache. And, ooh, I do like the Rotobarga. Okay, we've strengthened two of those decks. Start Wars. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I just like the names on them. Right, so we've done one of each, so we'll go back down to the bottom and do Premium. And by the way, we are spending every single one of these gems. Well, no, not every single one, because we've got to spend them in tens, but... You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, nothing new this time. But we've strengthened the Furry Fiend's deck. Is that the Camel Crossing? 
and Galactic Gardens pack. I think this has been a rather good success this uh, today, this video. I personally enjoyed it a lot. Alrighty, so can we get a legendary? Oh, we got five. Oh, okay, no, we can't. Then. We got two of the same one again. We strengthened four decks. Oh, Wish Upon a Star Fruit is now ready to use. PhD and Zombie is almost ready to use. Obviously, there's not an awful lot of point you us using the pre-built decks when we've only got half of them. If I can get to like 30 on some of them, maybe I'll use them. So now we are doing Colossal. It's a Colossal pack! And a Colossal bargain of just 100 gems. Okay. Oh, we only got four of them in the uncommon set. Ooh, yes. <gasps> legendary! We got a Legendary! We got a cob we got a legendary, we got a cob cannon. Oh yes! Oh, that's amazing. So the two new ones we got, we got a grave buster, block buster. Destroy all gravestones here and next door, which is not too bad, it's an evolution. But the real deal is we got a cob cannon. When played, not only do zombies here and next door get minus one, minus one, but it's got a team up evolution of destroy a zombie. And it's a six six! That's amazing. Oh yes! That made the video now. It won't get any better than that. It won't get any better than that. So the drop rate is supposed to be 30% for a super rare, and I think it's 10% for a legendary. And in the case of premium packs, it's 3% for a hero. So we've done well to get one of those legendaries. Oh, two of the same one again. <laughs> Ice Ball, that's pretty good actually. I really like that one. That's a cheap way to destroy pretty much anything. Alrighty, so then let's work our way back down this time. So we'll start with Triassic Triumph and work our way down the list. Just to spruce things up a little bit. And we may have to just add a couple of cards to our decks as well. I'll have to do some deck building one video. Oh, we got five of them and we got... Ooh, I've not got that one yet. That is... Killer Whale. Is that not actually listed in a deck? That's, a, that's actually really impressive. Oh. So then we'll do Colossal... Another Colossal Pack! But really, it's an ancient one. It's a bit fossilised. <laughs> I should stop doing these puns before I get everyone unsubscribed. <laughs> ah. Let's give us. Let's get something good. Oh, two umbrella leaves. Ooh, primordial yeti. Zombie evolution. All zombies get plus two, plus two. Now that is really nice. Fairy fiend is up to thirty cards. Uh, what do we actually need it for this deck now? We actually do not need any legendaries. We need to have one more... Oh, no, we need two more Primordial Yetis. Two more Cosmic Yetis. Ah, we need a, uh, an Area 21, uh, 22 and a Cat Lady. Two of them. And then we need to get three Turkey Riders. That might take a while. <laughs> That's good, though. We're actually nearly ready to use that Smash deck. And I imagine that those decks are pretty good for being pre-built. They have a synergy. Galactic Gardens is next. Let us open this one and see if we can get a legendary. Or even just a card we don't have. Because there's not a lot of cards I don't have anymore. I've been playing the game for that long. I have most of the cards in the game. Really, it's just sort of legendaries that I'm looking for in most cases. Spores galore. Is it 25? Uh, premium is next. Premium ones are the least exciting. There's very few cards I don't actually have. But I'm opening them in the hope I can get heroes, because that opens up a world of possibilities for videos. And just for general content. Uh, it's not going to happen this time. Ooh, Tough Beats isn't bad. The Root Cause. We'll have to have a look at what decks... Is now is the, maybe the time to look at what decks we've nearly completed, and possibly spend some sparks to finish. And, I mean, we'll have a lot of dismantling to do after this. I only dismantle them when I've when I've got four when I've got more than four copies of them, but we'll probably have a lot to dismantle. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we got a black eyed pea and a poison oak. Those are very nice. An easy peasy is so close to being done. What do we still need? Ah, <laughs> we need all of the legendaries. And we also need the pea pod. Pod fighter. Uh, mean beans and cosmic conjurino are almost ready to use. 
Galactic of Gardens. Come on. Toe and keep us waiting in suspense. Uh, four, oh, four. Okay. Ooh, we've not got final mission. And we've got area 22. We needed that one, remember? We needed that for this for that deck. Fairy Fiends is at 31. Uh, okay, we've got more decks working towards it. Area 22. Zombies here get plus two, plus two, and frenzy. It's an environment. Very nice one as well. And final mission's pretty good. Destroy a zombie and then do four damage. <laughs> that is uh, good for like zombies that you know are going to die and you want to get off some more damage. Colossal Fossils is next. And then Triasic Triumph. <laughs> it's keeping me in suspense. I think it's just decided that it's going gonna, it's gonna to make us wait now. We've opened too many. Come back tomorrow. But no, this is a mega video. Oh, we've got five of them, so... Oh, we got Zomblob. Zomblob is underrated. Gets plus one strength for each brain you got this turn. Really underrated. It's actually quite like, um... What is it? Magnifying Grass. Because that works off of how you get plus one for each sun you got this turn. Well, I think it's cheaper, and it's not as good. That was a Triastic. That, no, that was Colossal. So we do Triastic. And then we'll probably do three of the other packs. But we're going to do three of the others. And can we have a hero for this time? Maybe I'll do three hero packs for the last ones. Okay, it's not a wonderful pack this time. We have strengthened some decks. Blockbusting and Evolutionary Door. Oh yeah, Blockbusting probably uses Ice Spore. We have 315 gems. So what I'm actually going to do is... Here's the deal. I'm going to do one more Galactic, because those are my favourites. And then I'm going to do two premiums, and hopefully we can get a hero. I've been really unlucky with those. I've been banking on getting a hero sometime, but it's not happened for a really long time, actually. It's It's been several months since I got a hero. Oh, we've got two of the same one, so we've got two of that. So, hard oh, joke's not bad. It strengthens Pepper Power, and Popstorm is not far off being ready. Alrighty, two premium packs coming up. Very good, yes. Come on, just hand me some hand me some cards. Okay, no, that's not that's not the one. Petal Morphosis is pretty good though. Let's open another one. And this is our very last pack. And this is all we have left to muster. Let's open it. It's the final part. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's oh, we only got three. That is a very good sign. Oh, super rare. Oh, oh, come on, please, come on. Oh no, I'll take that as well instead. Oh, that's amazing. Brain Lane is now ready. Good sport is doing better. Bag tricks. Gargs unleashed. Plundering pirates. PhD and zombie and three others. So this is a good one already. Rocket Science, Destroy Plant 4 and more strength. But this, your hero's health cannot go below 1. That is really, really good. It means you're invincible until that's destroyed. Oh, that's amazing. So, let's go and recycle all of our spares for Sparks. And then we'll actually take a look at the pre-built decks and see if we've got anything that's really close. We get a thousand Sparks for that. We're signing like 64 cards. <laughs> So I'm actually going to take a look at the decks, and we'll just see what we're close to. So, easy peasy is nearly there. Um, what else do we have that's getting close? Not really anything else that's particularly close that we could use efficiently. We have got things getting towards it. If we can get to like 30 cards, I might I might put the, the baseline, if I can get 30 cards for the deck, I'll use them. That's not there yet. PhD and Zombies almost uh, activated. All your baits is almost activated. Fairy Fiends is one to use. Good Sport is almost there. Uh, so we have we are starting to get some that we can use. 
But actually, we are now done with heroes. And if you will just give me a second, I have one more thing or one more short little thing I want to do before I end this video. So I just want to give a quick shout out to a friend on he on YouTube here. Mythia Gaming, I think that says Kalus. I really, really hope I haven't butchered your name. I'm so sorry if I have. But uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to him. Uh, please check out his channel. He does uh, ARC videos. He does Minecraft videos. He does. He's actually got some like music as well. If you want to take a look at that, he has done some streams as well, some live streams. So do check him out and help him along the road to 50 subscribers. Is I suppose is the first milestone to get really. Um, but also I want to shout out. I want to give quick shout outs to some of the other people that uh, offer continued support on my channel. And they always comment with kind words. Uh, I, they always tell me that they enjoy my videos. I just want to give a mention to some of those. So I actually need to remember who some of these are. So shout out to Rainbow Killer. In fact, I'm going to pull up his channel, his channel now, actually. Shout out to Rainbow Killer. He's been there for me for quite a long time on the channel. He always puts in a good word. He always comments something nice. So shout out to him. I really appreciate you. And of course, he gave me the notification that I had hit milestones. So thank you so much for, to you for that. Uh, let me have a look down here. I'm actually trying to find them. Not Liza Gaming. That's another one that I want to give a shout out to. He's also he's also been uh, he's also supported my channel for a really for a long time. Always puts in a really nice word. Always makes me laugh. And in fact, if you do want to go check his channel out, or any of the channels for the people I'm shouting out, I am putting them on here. You just have to search them by their names. So thank you so much, dude, for being there for me on that one. Do I have? Anyone else in particular that's, that's recently mentioned something? Shout out to Sabo Womb Plays for subscribing. My man, uh, feel free to go check him out. He subscribed recently. Uh, Peace Shooter 11. I'm going to shout you out as well. Thank you for thank you for being here. And thank you for offering your support on my channel and for being a good friend to me. Feel free to check out his channel. And also look out, I do actually do the occasional... I'm hoping to get back into streaming Battle for Neighbourville again. And I do sometimes stream with him. So please check out his channel. Uh, just going on to my YouTube now, app. Now. No, I don't want to play the video. We're not playing my videos. Let's just jump back and get onto my channel. Whilst I try to find some more people that have come up recently. To anyone who has subscribed. Um, let me have a look. I mean, a lot of people have looked at some... A lot of people have uh, have also looked at my uh, most popular video where I... It was how to enable past streams on Mixer. Because I know Mixer's quite complicated. So, shout out to everyone who has left a nice comment about that. Um, I will actually list some of these channels in the comments down below if you want to check any of the guys out. But I just want to finish off now by saying... Thank you so much, guys, for this. Um, it, this is a really big milestone, 50 subscribers. Um, this channel has really come a long way. I mean, I can look... I, I have my analytics up right now on my phone, and in the last month, things have absolutely skyrocketed. I have more people than ever watching my videos. We've gained 21 subscribers in the last month. I mean, that is just insane. So thank you so much to you guys. You, the, your, your, just you watching the videos really makes my day. The way I've done this channel is it's always been a hobby. It's never been, it's not a career. It's not uh, something I'm forced to do. It's just a hobby for me. 
And if I can just improve one person's day, if I can make one person smile at one of my videos, then I consider it a success. I honestly just, I do this channel as a hobby, and I do this channel just for you guys. So, thank you so much to everyone for the support. Thank you for the 50 subscribers, Mark, that we have here. And I really, really hope that you continue to watch my videos, and I will continue to thank you for your support. This is Gamer Wingy signing off with 52 subscribers. Bye, guys.